Our legends used to speak of our forebears, their mastery over the element silicon. Unsurpassed by any civilization that came before it, and only equaled since by our own. They could send information at the speed of light, had the smallest of atomic switches, and even drank their brownie suspensions from beakers made of the stuff. How ironic would it seem to them to be sat here on a floor made of volcanic glass, yet impotent to harness its potential, mocked by its imperviousness. Hey guys and welcome back to the wasteland that is post Phenem, the horrific world where I have come from the past to the apocalyptic future where everything has been wiped out. There are no minerals in the ground, there are no plants above the ground. Well, there's a few that I put in myself. But on that topic, the plan for today was supposed to be going out, making judicious use of breaking down all these cobbles and stuff in here, and trying to make myself uh, a load of glass so that we could get our microscope on the go for the chemical analysis. Unfortunately, there is something that I've been neglecting almost this entire playthrough. Um, if we look in my food journal here, no food has recently been eaten. Oh, that's no good. Why, why is that like that? Anyway, it should show you that I've been eating nothing but these meat ingots and these grazed carrot, glazed carrots, sorry, for quite some time now. Which means I'm starting to get very sort of bad returns on the food that I'm eating. I've also been fiercely neglecting my crops. Uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, I've just kind of been too too wrapped up in running around trying to, to grab stuff to to build with and like start digging up, getting my getting my processing sorted and stuff like that. And I've just completely neglected food and crops. I mean, we did get the seed analyzer gone, and that is something I'm going to do. But I need to spend a little bit of time doing that. I need to, to, to get my crops sorted. I also need to cut down the trees and turn over a few a few of those a few times and maybe even grow some soil. None of that is the greatest for videos though so I'm gonna do it in a, a series of little jump cuts. Uh, you, we, we'll go and have a look at the area right now though. Uh, what what time of day is it? This is uh, something else. That, what was that? That was terrifying whatever that is. Oh, yeah, whatever that is, I don't think I want any part of it until morning. Uh, there are a few other things that I've been neglecting along the way. Uh, things like my bed. Like, wouldn't it be great now if I could just jump into a uh, into a bed and make morning happen? So let, let's let's start with that, shall we? We've got wood. Uh, we need wool. Is the next one. That is a most definite must. And as soon as my NEI catches up, we'll get onto it. Uh, there are glycines we need. Carbon, hydrogen, and nitrous. And two, right, so that makes us glycine. It would be really nice to have our uh, book here to be able to actually record this, but, you know, that, that's something we're going to have to do. I think we're going to need six. Unfortunately, we're out of carbon, right? Oh, hello, they seem to have disappeared as well. Let's, let's go back in here and have a look. So, we've got three. We need two more. Uh three more which means another six bits of carbon which i might have over here in my box and it is daytime so it might be time to go out so nice nice easy place to find some carbon definitely the wood stores here uh if we come in here and just break this down we should get a whole load of cellulose which we can break down even further into a whole load of carbon hydrogen oxygen and uh, was there anything else no it was just those okay brilliant uh i'm gonna wait for a few seconds for these to break down so much hydrogen it is the most abundant element in the universe after all but it's uh a little bit annoying to have so much. So maybe now we can get all three. Brilliant. Now the other one we need is the colour. Now I believe this one is titanium oxide. Yeah, I may have some titanium and oxide. Well, I've got oxygen. Do I have titanium anywhere? Look at that. Brilliant. Right there. Uh, so if we clear these for now, it surely it's just one of these and one of these. Titanium dioxide? It is. Okay. Uh, two. Oh, it takes... One of those for two of those. That's not useful. It's not useful. Oh, it's actually stolen the titanium off me. I needed that. Of course, the most ready source of materials I have is co cobblestone. Um, hopefully that this will give us some titanium. I mean, titanium was a, a, a fairly rare drop last time when we went through it. There was only two bits after a, an entire stack. This says it can't put down anymore. Why is that? Okay, we're having a few troubles with space. Let me go and dump some stuff and I will be back with however much titanium we've got. 
And with a minute minimum of mucking about there we go we've got our three bits of wool uh now we just need to grab ourselves three bits of wood out of here and this is just standard minecraft stuff you guys should know how to be making a bed here i have however managed to take up all the time up until about midday ish i think so uh this bed is now a little bit useless let's go out and have a look at my uh well i would say my garden patch my 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 crops where all my food grows but unfortunately it's not really all my food at the moment now up here we have my little farming patch, and um, it's all weeds. I just I completely forgot about it while I was out and, and doing my thing. And this, of course, means that any food that I did have growing here is now completely useless. I mean, as much as I do like my weed, I don't think this is going to be any use to us in the post-apocalyptic scenario we find ourselves in. Uh, and I just remembered that I've completely forgotten all the seeds and stuff that I wanted to bring out with me to, to grow these again. Uh, now, I was going to kind of have one crop in the corner and then have everything, have everything set up for mutation and stuff like that. But I need to get my food sorted first. Uh, it would be great to be able to do all the mutations and growing towards all the special stuff and believe me when it comes to getting the extra different types of crops i will be doing so but as it is right now where are my seeds there we go what i need to do is just get some base food on the go particularly the the wheat and stuff like that from wheat grows many things but in particular flour and with flour i can make lots of different dishes uh so yeah we need to do things like that and look look already it's back go away be gone with you there we go brilliant Okay, so let's clear off some space on my bar. We will have the wheat over here. I don't think we can get all of it out, but that's fine. We'll just, well, we just—I want to grow it up, get some base, base materials for going with, and then we're going to do the same with the carrot over here, just so we can get enough that I don't have to worry about like losing it to weeds or anything like that. And I will be back to check on this in a sec. The next thing I want to do is I see some lava over there, and I've got a feeling that lava is going to be useful for me, but. I have uh, next to no iron on the go at the moment, but I also have somewhere that I also have a need for storage space. Uh, not just a need for storage space, but a need for space to put the storage space in. Whilst I have all these, uh, they're on me at the moment. Whilst I have all these jungle drawers, and I would like some more, uh, I would ideally like to put them back here somewhere in this sort of area. So I think what we're going to do now is take out this whole lump of stone here in between this bit and this bit back here uh give ourselves a bit of height on the ceiling and maybe think about some sort of decorational element might be useful might be useful Alright, so that kind of went well. We've got a nice big space to work with. One thing I do want to point out is these, I'm fairly sure, contain silverfish. Like, oh my, those silverfish were a bit of an issue. They punched a hole through the wall here where they all just kept on spawning. That was pretty nasty. I've got myself a rack set up. Uh, it's not quite a periodic table, but it's close enough. What we've got is the uh, the standard... Um, I can't remember what the, the groups are, but the, the, the two groups on the side up here, and then the transition metals we put down here, just because I don't quite have enough boxes to make an entire periodic table. Uh, so the, the next thing we need to get on with is carrying on with the food. If you look, I'm now down to half food. This is not great. But in this, uh, in this quest book, it asked me to make a juicer. Now, if we go into NEI and see how we make a juicer, it is a bit of stone. And a pressure plate. Now, there are many ways of doing this, but what I'm going to choose to do 
is probably just cook up a whole, well, not a whole load, cook up eight of these. Can we break these down to small? There we go. And that should give us, well, we only need three of them for the stone and pressure plate, but that should give us enough to get going with and be able to sort out a sort out the quest and get the rewards right the next thing i want to do is kind of take this roof up and back but that that's going to take a little bit of time uh, i'm scared of these i've got to figure out what to do with these uh, i'm fairly sure if i break this one and then start attacking it the others are going to come and get me and there were some some dodgy ones here it wasn't just normal silverfish there were ones that poisoned you there was like multicolored ones that came for you uh, all sorts of problems there right so we've got enough for these so let's uh, break that open Put that down there and there. Awesome. So we've got a juicer. That is a quest done. We've got it. Claim reward. What are we going to take? The carrot cake or the energy cell? We're starting to run out of energy cells. I don't know how easy it is to make one. I think we're going to go with this. Maybe we can make carrot cake ourselves later. Should we find out how to make carrot cake? I bet it's going to be really awkward. Like really awkward. Uh, carrot cake. Oh, it's not too bad. It's bakeware, some dough, which I believe is actually quite awkward to sort out. We've got some flour, some salt, and some fresh water. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, it's all the cookware and stuff that we need that's really going to hold us up there. Uh, with that in mind, yeah, cool. So this is where we get our full set of cooking equipment. Oh, look, we also get some get a presser, some clay, blocks of iron... And all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get some stuff together, see if we can do that, try and figure out what we're going to do about these silverfish, and just carry on tending to my farms, because, yeah, it's, it's quite nice being able to turn over some food. All right, I think the time has come. We're going to go over and explore that pit over there. I have no idea what it is over there. Um, oh, look, there's slime over there, according to my map. There's a lot of theirs in this particular sentence that I've just been speaking. I should probably try and sort that out. We are going to go and see what this building is about. I should imagine there are spawners in here to worry about. And possibly some stuff we can get. I think the first... Yeah, there's some lava there. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of go screaming in and try and get that lava. Um, and by screaming in, I do literally mean I'm just going to start running and be like... Aah! Nothing nothing bad is happening so far. What is this stuff? Nether rack. Okay. Can we steal some lava? We can't steal the lava. This is not real lava. Ah, that's that's rubbish. Um, is that real lava up there? That's the question. What is it then? If it's not real lava... Uh, maybe we can update it. Do I have a block? I do have a block. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Pigman. What's that going to do? It's started it... Dropping? Is that what's going on here? Is this real lava? No, that's not real lava. I don't think any of it's real lava. Is any of it updating? I don't know. Okay, so I heard, I just heard a pigman. He's on the other side of this wall here. Is he just angry at me? He's got a uh, fishing. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> Can't afford to lose another lot. He's going to be coming for me, isn't he? Um, maybe we can kind of kite him off. He seems to be having a bad time. Oh, look, there's more stuff there. Oh, there's all sorts of bad. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there and explore with my zero bits of armor. That means my helmet's broken. Ah! Uh, yeah, so yeah, with my zero bits of armor and, like, what have we got? One energy cell and six shots. Is it one energy cell and six shots or is it just six shots? Yeah, one energy cell and six shots. Um, it'd be nice to be able to just like sneak in there and see if we could grab some stuff out of the chest That would be ideal. Should we just see if it can happen over here? Is he gonna try and come for me? I don't know. I don't know. It's, oh, I can't get under that. Okay. I, there was a block in the way I, I saw the hitbox that no, this is this is a bad idea. It's a very very bad idea. I'm going up here um, <laughs> All right, well, I went exploring. Oh, go away. Leave me alone. I went exploring. I was hoping to get some lava. All we found is that like most of the lava there is fake. That's uh, disappointing. Disappointing to say the least. I'm sure there's other stuff we can do there, but as I say, with my current state of arms and armory, it's just not gonna gonna play ball at the moment. I am, however, gonna go chop that down. Ah, oh, this is such a bad time. So I was coming back from uh, getting all my stuff, and there's a fire skeleton in there. He shot me dead, and now I have to try and like get my stuff back. I don't know how we get like there. He is. Look at him. Oh, he's got a fire arrow in the wall. I don't... All he's going to be able to do is shoot me, right? I don't know what we can do about this. Let's try and figure it out. Uh, I mean, ideally, we'd like to lure him out and just get him away from my base, but that that was pretty deadly pretty deadly um how do we 
Hey, if we could just pull him out this way. Do you reckon he's going to keep coming for me? Uh, he can. He can just about see me. It's very warm down here. I, like I've been attacked with fire, so I feel a bit vulnerable. Come on, man. Come here. Oh look, he did it again. He did it again. Quick, run, run, run. Uh, why can't I run? <laughs> this this is not nice. Not nice. Not the way to go. I'm just going to hide under here for a bit. Okay, so we've been trying to draw him out, but that's never going to work. Um, if we could just get him over this way and pull him down this way, we can. Yeah, all right. We're going to get stuck. We're definitely going to get stuck and probably take some damage. But we should be able to now go in the other way. As long as we can stay out of his uh, line of sight. Brilliant. Oh, shit. There he is. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. This is not what we want. This is not what we want at all. Uh, we're going to come down here. I'm going to try and run up and through the side here. Um, hopefully he won't be able to shoot me. <laughs> uh, there, There is no reason for me to expect that. Oh, right, that's that one. Done. Oh, wow. I really thought it was going to be in some big trouble there. Big, big trouble. Still not great. Still not great. But there we go. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. Uh, we've got, do we have to deal with him? Can we close him in? I mean, one of the things I'd like to do is make some doors. Uh, I've been severely... Oh, jeez, look at... There he is. There he is. I've been severely lacking on the door front for, for a little bit of time now. Uh, it should just be like that, right? I'm sure there are better doors in the mod pack, but right now... This is what I want to do. There we go. Oof. It's just something to get going with. Right, my my temperature, seriously my temperature, uh, I am going to literally just sit in the corner until I chill out a little bit, try and find a nice quiet corner. Uh, and we're going to move this this torch here because this is where he, uh, ooh, no, this is where he spawned in. Uh, we're going to go around, find all the dead zones, try and light this place up a bit better, and I will be back when I have done that. So, funny story guys, here we are back on the top of the world uh, with a whole safe full of stuff. This is because I, I died, I'll be honest, it happened off, off camera. I'd logged in to, uh, to go and see what was going on with stuff. I walked outside to just deal with some plants. I wanted to just go like pick up some carrots and then come back inside and everything was alright. Uh, unfortunately, I walked outside and then I saw a, a witch out there. I was like, oh no, let's back up inside. The game crashed. And by the time, well, not by the time, I went to immediately log back in and it wouldn't let me back in. So the only thing I can consider is that when the game froze for a little bit, the witch came at me and killed me. And now the game thinks I'm dead properly and there's nothing I can do. So we can start all over again. Woo! Yay! This, oh, no, not that. This is exactly what we wanted, really. Well, it kind of is. Because you see that thing over my corner, over my shoulder there? That's new. That wasn't there last time, so obviously some things have updated. Oh, no, that was what I wanted to do. Now, I am not going to make you watch through all these first quests again. That's that's just not going to be a thing that happens. As you wait. Uh, we, what we're going to do is I'm going to jump forwards days and days and days into the future uh, when we've done a few of these. Uh, maybe not all the way up to where we were, but definitely up to the bit of putting down the storages and stuff like that. So, yeah. If you guys could give me a mic, I'm going to go, I've used the same uh, same seed, I'm going to go live in the same hovel, I, I think as long as you guys will allow me these 15 minutes at the end of this particular episode, I think we can get it to the point of where we were, and then there won't be too much jarring in between the two episodes, so yeah, give, it, give me, well it's going to be days for me, but give me kind of a couple of seconds for you guys.
Oh, wow. Well, that wasn't anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to be. I said a couple of days, and it was actually just less than a day. So that was pretty good. Uh, I've done a few things differently. The first you'll notice, I'm putting my storage here so that when I'm stood here, I can just kind of look over the side and see what I've got, and if necessary, run around. I can almost guarantee all this lot is going to change at some point so I can, like, see better and stuff like that. I put the furnace underneath there. That That's a little bit different, but, you know, cosmetic. What I think I'm going to do... Oh, the big thing that's different is I've moved my crops inside so I don't have to go outside and, and risk the, the wrath of all the bad guys out there to be able to, to harvest. Uh, one thing I think I'm going to do is push this wall back so that we can start putting out other segments out and then we've got this nice little sort of mutation line in between where we can get them to breed together and create sugar cane from these two maybe potato i don't know uh some of the other differences i've noticed in the world let's uh is it safe out there it doesn't look like it's terribly safe out there but we're gonna go out anyway uh so let's run around this way quickly uh so first thing i have noticed that's definitely different oh the sun's going down that's not great that thing over there which we explored earlier today is all in one piece there's no like massive hole in the side of it i've not gone over to have a look but if you look on my mini map up the top left uh, top right there you'll see that there is lava outside and i think that was different uh, another thing that i have noticed is that there is no village over this way i don't think uh, i'm pretty sure there was last time well just before we died uh, but this time, no, no, no village. So, yeah, that's that's a that's a bit bit rubbish. We are not going to be able to go get any gold from there. Uh, beyond that, I've done everything exactly the same, apart from I haven't planted a oak tree out here because I needed that extra bit of dirt for making the two two squares. So yeah, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this double adventure today. It feels like a double adventure to me, even though it doesn't to you. Oh, look, I put some water inside as well so I can drink without having to go outside. Um, and I will see you next time when we're going to carry on where we left off just before I died. Bye! going to show you the inside of my quest book so you can see where I'm at now.